four. Thinking about my rules, is this in simplest form? No, it doesn't have any fractions under the radical. However, there is a radical in the denominator. So a radical expression is not in simplest form if there's a radical in the denominator. Recall that to simplify a radical binomial expression, you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So here I have two plus square root of three. The conjugate of that is going to be two minus the square root of three. So these are conjugates. This is a conjugate pair. So I'm going to take four minus radical three divided by two plus radical three. And I'm going to multiply that times this conjugate two minus the square root of three. This is just the same as multiplying this by one. Okay, I'm going to have to use the distributive property because I'm multiplying these binomials. So here I'm just going to have to use FOIL as usual. So the first two terms, that's going to give me 4 times 2. The outer is going to give me 4 times negative square root of 3. The inner two terms, that's negative square root of 3 times 2. And then the last two terms. negative root 3 times negative root 3. The denominator is a little bit easier because this denominator is in the form a plus b, a minus b, multiplying, it's the product of the sum and the difference, which gives me a squared minus b squared. Here, a equals 2, b equals the square root of 3. So that's going to give me a squared, which is 2 squared, minus the square root of 3, squared. Okay, simplifying. 4 times 2 is 8. This is 4 times negative 1, so that's negative 4, square root of 3. This is negative 1, essentially in front of here, times 2 is negative 2, root 3. Here I have a negative and a negative, that's going to give me a positive, so it's going to be plus the square root of 3, and that's squared. Okay, all divided by 2 times, uh, 2 squared is 4, minus, well, the square root of 3 squared is just 3. Okay, so this gives me... Let's, uh, 8 minus 4 square root of 3 minus 2 square root of 3. Well, this square root of 3 squared is also 3, so I'm going to change that to a 3, divided by 4 minus 3, which is 1. So I can just not write that 1. And here I have 8 plus 3, that's 11. I also see that I have negative... 4 radical 3 and negative 2 radical 3. Since these have the same index and the same radicand, I can combine these two to get negative 6 radical 3. So we started out with something not in simplest form because it had a radical in the de denominator. And since that was a binomial, I multiplied both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. I got this whole thing. I used, I then just continued to simplify. And when I got to here, I saw that I had two radicals that could be combined to give me negative 6 square root of 3, and then I combine my constants. And this is now in simplest form because there are no radicals in the denominator. There are no nth powers in this radicand, so no perfect squares in this case, um, and no fractions under the radical sign. And this is to the, the index is the smallest power that it can be. Okay, so that concludes this session of educator.com. Thanks for visiting.